Hello, welcome to Math Meets Tech. I'm Andrew Capretto. We're continuing our series on teaching with iPads and the Notability app. Today I'm going to show you about something called recordings within Notability. And this is better than just doing a, a video because this video connects what you're writing very specifically to the video. And so students can jump to the video at the points where they find that, the writing that you've done. It might seem confusing, but I'm going to show you how it works in one second. And it's super powerful for students that also have the Notability app. That is kind of required for this portion. All right, I'll show you how it works. Notability has a feature called Recordings. And I'll be honest, I think this will be most useful if your students also have Notability on an iPad as well. Because you being able to share the recordings works best if they actually have that app as well. So let me show you what recordings are. So let's say I want to make uh, an example for this student. I want to I walk through this, this problem. Up here at the top, uh, there is a microphone icon in blue up at the top menu bar. If I tap that, <clears throat> it is now recording my work. So I'm going to go ahead and work this out. OK, so I'm going to multiply my coefficients here. So 9 times 5 is 45. And I'm going to change colors here, and I'll multiply my variables, x to the fourth times x to the eighth is x to the twelfth. And that's our final answer. Great. If you didn't enjoy the math, I'm sorry. But um, now we see up here that we have a recording in the top. And you can have multiple recordings. So if I click this down arrow, it's going to show me the, the one recording that I have. And notice the ink on uh, Notability went kind of translucent. So if I hit play, it will start and it will start playing my audio, but it'll also play my audio synced up with the actual text that's happening. You're like, well, how's that different than a video? Well, let's say the student's like, okay, I just want to see how you got this part here. Why did you draw this line? They can tap on parts of the text here and it's going to jump to that part of the recording. So if a student's like, oh, I want to see how you did this, that's where it's going to jump and do the recording. How did you do that? that's where it's going to do the recording. So students can um, get right to that part of the recording. The audio will be synced with that. And so they can jump and see exactly. I missed that step. What was that step right there? Boom. Super helpful. You can share these recordings with students. Really, if you share it in is outside of the Notability app, it just gives you an audio file and this document. Almost not helpful at all compared to making a video. But if you share it with another student that has Notability, uh, they can watch and interact with it just like this. Uh, super helpful if you have students with iPads. So that is the recording feature. And yes, you can, as I said, you can have multiple recordings. So if I tap uh, the microphone here again, I can have a second recording. I'm just going to switch my tools. I'll put a box around it this time. I'll put a little star over here. Then I'll hit stop. And now it's added on, and you can see there's a little line in the um, track here that starts with where my next recording was. This is where I can also see the two recordings. So it'll have them all in a stream, but now here are the two recordings that I can uh, have. And if you decide, hey, I want to get rid of that one recording, I can edit it, um, I can delete it, I can shorten it up a little bit, however you want to do. So you have all of those features as well. Um, so that's all of the recording feature. I love it. It's super, super cool and amazing. Hopefully, hopefully that's something that you can enjoy and use with your students as well.